and you're with us here on Aspana. When it comes to the art scene, a lot is changing really and we've been capturing it all on Aspana. But when you talk about the art gallery experience today, now that is so much more than it ever was in the past because it's not just about seeing art on the walls. Not at all. It's more experimental now. You have installation, you have videos that provide a unique experience when you're going out there to look at art. <laughs> Art is changing and so are the galleries. For instance, where would you go if you wanted the world to see the stuffed rooster or this humongously bloated horse? Or perhaps have cow dung cake as installation pieces. All art, but all yearning for the perfect space that showcases its core qualities to engage, to spark intrigue. It's the demand of the time of the age that galleries also reinvent themselves. One such art gallery in Mumbai's art district of Kolaba is Gallery Mascara. Owned by Abhay Mascara, this 43-year-old gallerist worked with Microsoft in the past, but gave it up to turn this classic warehouse into a contemporary art gallery, a space designed to complement the artwork it displays, like the kinetic inflatable sculptures by Mike Streicher or an insulation piece by Shine Shivan. or this taxidermy rooster that even smells of rotten bones displayed in a secluded section of the gallery different yes scary oh yes one of the things i wanted to do was steer away from the you know conventional white cube neutral space i wanted a space where artists have the freedom to create works outside of their studio spaces uh you know spaces which would enable the artist to really realize their grandest vision uh spaces which would allow for the uh, viewer to come in and see the art in a completely new context so space is is for me a very critical aspect of you know uh, uh creating art viewing art experiencing art and that's what i find wolf does abundantly well too this gallery is a maze a stunning surprise at every turn I'm enthralled by this installation piece by Ranveer Kaleka. It transports you into a parallel universe. I've lived in Boston, New York, London and Singapore. We had very few galleries showing those that kind of art in India, and I felt it was a good opportunity and it's something that I was extremely passionate about, and that's how I got started. At Project 88 I meet Sri Goswami. This gallery she says was once a metal printing press back in the 1800s. Today its old industrial walls house contemporary works of artists like Huma Mulji. This being the Twilight series and also has a fallen lamp post as an installation piece. It has Zuleika Chaudhary's proposition and Sandeep Mukherjee's new work. the space and the art and amalgamation of different times and spaces i think when you're working with a with a space which is not a pristine white cube you need to work with the space you need to understand the space you need to know what will look good what is the scale you should play with you should you scale up should you scale down i mean these beams and girders um they are also act as a natural grid so we often have small video rooms where you can you know go and view a film or you know like in this section we kind of opened it up so we needed more wall space for a drawing show so it is very flexible and uh, you know the architecture kind of lends itself and what's great that in every show it ends up looking different and perhaps it's the ever changing quality of these contemporary art galleries that draws art lovers more regularly than ever before i find it really fascinating to have huge art pieces uh, displayed around which you can walk around um which is very difficult in modern contemporary art spaces i came across gallery mascara and um, it had a very interesting location it said that it's located at uh, it's a warehouse at third pasta now when you see something like that um your curiosity is wetted because you want to know what is a warehouse and how come a lane is called third pasta Clearly India's contemporary art scene is evolving. There is a lot of innovation with themes 
material and media and indeed with the galleries that put all this on display for the growing breed of artists and lovers I don't mind visiting a space that has a bit of uh, both history and modern art. It would be quite nice. Absolutely. But of course, the spotlight is on Indian art right now. Lots of experimentation happening in that space as well. And that's the one that we are going to watch out for very closely. For the moment, it's going to be a wrap. Thanks indeed for joining us.